Hey folks, welcome back to Gym Cloud's continuing whiteboard series. I'm Greg Keller, I'm the company's chief product officer, and today we're going to talk to you about Gym Cloud's integration with Microsoft Office 365. We'll be talking about effectively two components that incorporate our integration. One is our direct provisioning and sync bridge, uh, and the other is SAML-based SSO. So let's begin, we got our trusty whiteboard pen, and let's start drawing boxes so you can see how all these components work. First and foremost, uh, let's draw box number one. We're gonna call this guy Jump Cloud. This is, as you probably use, uh, our core directory service. This is Jump Cloud's directory of, as a service. It is um, effectively what you are using to control user identity within your organizations. The second box I'm going to draw, um, is, and I'll draw this sort of in a dotted line here, is Microsoft's Azure Active Directory. So uh, why am I talking about AAD right here? Well, it's very interesting. Um, the integration that we have uh, with Microsoft Office 365 actually is all driven from our deep relationship with AAD. So let's explain how we kind of do things and then we'll start exploring how users get provisioned, et cetera. First and foremost, Jump Cloud and AAD are integrated through a deep integration layer, through an API, obviously, uh, and we're using an OAuth-based token connection in order to securely connect Jump Cloud via sort of a super administrator account with Azure Active Directory. And we're indicating um, to Azure Active Directory with our API signaling that AAD will be, in effect, deferring in the objects that we create within it to another directory source, password updates, metadata changes, etc. It then is signaled in order to basically make that communicate. And specifically for the Microsoft uh, nerds like us in the audience, we're using the Microsoft Graph in order to do this, uh, the Graph API. So there are other APIs that were, are outdated. We're moving forward with Microsoft's more progressive uh, graph-based API. So in effect, that is how this is done. There is no middle tier server um, in sort of an analog in, in sort of the G Suite uh, Active Directory or G Suite LDAP world. You often need a middle tier server in order to sort of orchestrate and communicate user provisioning and password changes. None of that exists, not only in, in our G Suite implementation, but also with our Office 365 implementation. So with this understood, so you have, uh, actually let me write AAD up here, you have Azure Active Directory as you know their sort of um, directory service layer. And then of course, one of the service endpoints is Office 365. So the relationship that we maintain is as follows. Um, in the first instance, we have a provisioning mechanism. So if I have a user here, for example, called user A, and within Gem Cloud, and I push this user with our integration bridge, Active Directory, our Azure Active Directory, will, of course, and naturally create and inhabit uh, or incorporate user A. And by virtue of that, we then surface that user into Office 365, all right? Now, secondly, if there is an Office 365 user, we'll call this user B, and of course, user B has its core representation inside of its underpinning Azure Active Directory, we do the same thing in reverse. This often is because when Jump Cloud is introduced to organizations, you already have fairly rich, mature installations uh, and implementations of Office 365 and Azure uh, Active Directory. So we do the same thing in reverse. We can import to ensure that user B uh, now is inhabiting inside of your core directory, which is Jump Cloud. With the API set and active, here's the crux. All the changes occur from Jump Cloud into the, that service. So for example, uh, password changes, et cetera, metadata changes. For example, if I change the name of user A to user A1, we will push that change all the way through so it's all kept in sync. But just like you would in, in more or less an a, 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 a sort of an authoritative active directory uh, implementation, Jump Cloud is the one pushing those changes through. 
Note that users who change passwords inside of the uh, office, let's say the Office 365 service, Jump Cloud will recognize that password change and immediately overwrite it. So just understand the true authoritative nature of our, our sort of control over user identities within uh, uh, Azure Active Directory and of course, you know, the Office 365 service that's slating from it. So that's the first general endpoint. It's directory integrations at that, you know, sort of deep level. The second is through SAML-based SSO. This box symbolizes the JC user portal. And inside of the portal, uh, as mentioned, this is where your users will do their password changes. All those changes will rip through. Uh, and of course, update the various services they're connected to, Office 365 being one of them. But if you're using the user portal and you've configured, literally setting up the PowerShell and everything you need to establish SAML-based SSO for Office 365, uh, you can set that up with Jump Cloud and then use our second endpoint or our second integration service, so SAML SSO. What this means is inside of the user's portal, there will be, you know, in this particular case, an IDP initiated, you know, sort of icon for Office 365. Your end user logs into their portal. They may have MFA on the portal. Um, they select Office 365 from the, the list of icon, app icons that are provisioned to that particular user. And of course, they can get asserted. They get authenticated and uh, can gain access to Office 365. But the thing I want to make clear here is we have these two independent um, pieces of technology that work with Office 365, yet they can be used entirely independently of one another. For example, we have many customers that aren't using the provisioning mechanism, but they are using SSO. In the inverse, we have lots of customers who aren't using SSO, but they are using our provisioning bridge. In this particular model, the provisioning bridge, users who are logging into their Office 365 portal natively, directly. They're entering in, of course, their, their, their corporate domain sort of username, um, you know, greg at mycompany.com, and entering in their Jump Cloud password, and guess what? They get authenticated. It's all because it's all inner sort of connected with um, our core version of the identity. So that's it. This is the core of what we do with our two uh, particular integration points with Office 365, SAML, and our, our API-driven integration bridge. We'd love to have you take a look at this, evaluate it. Please head to support.gemcloud.com for a, a deep dive on our, our knowledge base and all the instructions of how this works. But again, all of this is available for you to try for free uh, by visiting jumpcloud.com. Hope this is helpful for your understanding, and we look forward to having you back for more whiteboard videos. Thanks. Thank you.